I just said, you know, I said, if, if, if believing that you can lose your salvation helps you walk in sanctification, that's fine. But you will always be worried about whether or not you can lose your salvation. You will never be secure in your salvation. And that is the devil's playground because then he'll be able to get in there and convince you, oh, you're not saved. God's forsaken you. You can't, you know, you're not saved. And it's, it's his playground. I mean, it's as simple as that. You will never, ever be secure in your salvation. Part of the armor of God talks about the helmet of salvation, knowing that you are saved. What is the helmet protects the head, right? That's what the helmet does. Knowing that you are saved, being secure in your salvation. If you're not secure in your salvation, you're always going to question, am I doing enough to be saved? Uh, am, am I going to lose my salvation because I lied? Am I going to lose my salvation because I didn't I didn't obey God? Like you're always going to be in torment over whether or not you're saved. That's, that's not a thing. That shouldn't be a thing. Right, you know? and that leaves you with insecurity, doubt, and fear. And God, that that doesn't come from God, and that's a torment spiritually. Yes, it spiritually. is. It is. It is very much so. Now, that's not to say that we are to be flippant about our salvation. This is where that other post came in. As I said, you know, yes, we are saved by grace alone. That is the only thing we are saved by is his grace. And it's like, but... That does not give you a license to keep doing what you're doing. And I'm like, Jesus paid too high of a price for your salvation. You'd be flippant about it. Like, you know, and I understand we all go through that. We all kind of go through that, right? Because we don't understand it yet. And, And I understand that. But... But the price was too high for you to be flippant about your salvation. You should not be sitting there being, oh, well, that's okay. I'm saved. So, you know, if, if I did this, it's okay. I don't have to worry about it. Well, you're right. Like you don't have to worry about it because you know, you, that you've been saved from that, but you need to recognize the price that was paid for your salvation. That is a high price. Yeah. A very high price. You know, actually, you know, yeah. And if you really are saved, you will turn from sin because God says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. It's, it's those people who don't really love God, who don't actually have a relationship with Jesus that are like, like, oh, I can sin. It's okay. I'm going to, I'm saved anyways. No, those people are not the people that know Jesus. Cause if you really know Jesus and you really have a relationship with God and the Holy Spirit is actually working in you, you will begin to hate sin and you will feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit, and you won't be doing those things. You'll be turning from them. God is changing you. Yeah, well, you'll have, you'll have the desire, like we were talking about, right? Ability and desire are two separate things. You may not have the ability yet to turn from it, but your attitude toward it is what's going to change, right? We were talking about that. So you're going to be like, man, like, you know, 